Today's tutorial is on using JAWS Screen Reader with Microsoft Excel. If you are a disability support specialist, you may be called upon to train blind or visually impaired students on how to use JAWS with Excel. Lesson 5, Creating Charts or Graphs. I'm starting here in the data that I want to chart and you'll see that there, these are the number of homes sold by a real estate agent in the months um, January through December for the years 2017 and 2016. So I want to chart that data and basically you're going to press control home to start your focus on A1 cell and then you're going to use the shift key and you're going to move over to where you know the data ends which is cell M3. I'm going to press shift and down select, arrow. Select 2016 A3. Then I'm going to go across pressing the right arrow. Select, 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 select A1, blank M3, 22. So it's important to know where your data is so you know exactly where that selection is going to be. So when someone's blind, they will have to know that content in what cells they are in to be able to make these selections. And of course, they need to pay attention to where they put the data in the cells. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to format this into a chart. So the way I do that is I press the Alt key and the letter N for insert. Alt N. Up now, ribbon. Group. it's in the upper ribbon and what I want it to do is I want it to go to the recommended charts and that's pressing letter R. R. Leaving menu bar, land, insert chart dialog. In this area, if I press the control and tab key, I go to all charts. All charts tab, the switch pages press. If I go back by pressing control shift tab. Recommended charts tab, the switch page. It takes me to the recommended charts. If I press the tab key. Tab, list box, cluster, column, but. It takes me to the first one in that column. And if I press down arrow, that column, cluster bar, A plus. you see it goes down into the content. Now I do want the first one. It, it's recommended and I like that. Stack cluster column. A. So I press the up arrow to go back up and then I press the enter key to have the chart show up on the data sheet that I'm on. Enter. Now what I want is to explain something that's very common and that is to create a new data sheet for putting the chart. So before I go and put a new data sheet up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this chart from out of this data environment. I'm going to press Control X. Cut selection to clipboard. And then I'm going to press the Shift key and F11 to create a new sheet. Shift F11, Sheet Tab, Sheet 3. And then I'm going to press Control V. Paste it from clipboard. And it's titled it Sheet 3, but what I want to name it is something else. So I'm going to press the Alt H. Alt H. And then I'm going to press O for format. Then I'm going to press R for rename sheet. R, leaving menus. And I'm just going to type in chart. A -A -R -T. Now, then I press the enter key. Enter. And now the, the sheet title is changed. And I have the chart only here in this particular sheet. And so what I'm going to do next is to format some of the areas of the chart which are important, such as the title. And then I'm going to change some of the colors of the bars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the Alt key. Upper ribbon, group box, home tab. You see up here it says chart tools and then down here it says format and here's the keystroke JA. So I'm going to use that keystroke by pressing J followed by A quickly. A. Chart tools, group box, format tab. Now I'm in the chart tools. So if I press down arrow Lower ribbon, chart area, format group box. Okay, it's, it's going to let me format the visual element of the chart area. But what I want to do is press down arrow. Chart area. 
and go down to chart title. Chart title, chart title. I press enter. Enter. Leaving menu bar. And it's highlighted the chart title in the actual graphic. So I'm going to press enter again and it's going to highlight it. Enter. And now I can title what I want to call this. C O F E A R I S O N space O F space 216 dash 217 space A O E space A A E S. So that's what I wanted to title it Comparison of 2016 2017 House Sales. The next thing I want to show you is how to change the bars of the graph. So I'm going to have to go back up to the ribbon by pressing Alt, J, A, then I'm going to press down arrow, Lower ribbon. and it takes me to chart title, and then I'm going to go down to 2017. Chart title, horizontal legend, plot area, vertical, vertical, series, quote, 2017, quote. I press the enter key because it puts that data into that combo box and what I want to do now is to go from this focus to this focus over here this panel and so the way I do that is I press the F6 key first A1. page it takes me to is the data cells underneath the graphic so I want to press F6 again F6 series options button to activate now press it space says bar. press the space bar if I want to activate that but what I want to do is I want to press the tab key tab fill and line button selected navigate with left and right tab fill button check to activate now I'm at the fill area bar. so now once I get to the fill area I know that I want to change it to a solid fill so I'm going to go down arrow Automatic radio button check to change the selection. Press up or down As it arrow. says, press up or down arrow. So I go up to solid. No, solid fill radio button. And then check. I press to tab again. Selection. Press up or down arrow. S. Tab. Invert if negative checkbox not checked. Check. Then press tab again. I. And now I'm tab. Menu fill color sub. It says fill color sub menu. I press the enter key. It brings up the theme colors. And then I'm going to go down to white. what I want to change white. this to. White. Standard colors, dark red grid, orange, yellow, light green, green grid, 66. Okay, so I'm going to choose dark blue. Light blue grid, blue grid, dark blue grid, 69 of enter, format data series. Now, there's quite a distinction between the dark blue and the orange. However, someone might want to have a other choice, which is maybe a pattern along with the color. So I'm going to go back to the ribbon, Alt, Leaving menus. J, A, then I'm going to go down arrow, Lower ribbon. and then I'm going to go down to 2000, then I've, I've selected 2016, instead of it being a solid color, I want it to be a pattern fill. Now I'm going to have to press the F6 key again until I get to the series options. F6. Lang A1 to switch page F6. Menu, fill color sub menu to move through items. Okay, so it said fill color sub item and that means it's down over here in the orange color. So I'm going to have to now press the up arrow. Leaving menus, invert if negative checkbox not checked. And then I'm going to press shift tab. Shift tab, automatic radio. Press the up arrow till I get to the pattern fill. Pattern fill radio button check. Then I press the tab key to get to the different patterns. Tab, invert if neg tab, dotted colon five per dotted, dotted, dotted colon. Dotted colon 30%, dotted, 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 dotted colon 75%, dotted, dotted, diag diagonal stripes colon light upward enter. The problem is that the color was changed because it always shifts back to the previous selection that you made. So I'm going to have to press tab until I get to the color for the foreground. Tab. Menu, foreground, sub menu. Then I press the enter key. Press up or down arrow, F. Enter, leaving menus, format data series, white, back, white, back, black, light, blue, blue, orange, accent, blue, orange, orange, accent. Blue. Once I get to the color I like, I press enter. 
Enter. And now I press escape Land, key A1. to get out of that. And escape. I'm going to press the F6 key to get back to the chart. When I complete working on this particular sheet, I may want to add a graphic to the other sheet which has the data. To change sheets, you use the control page up and control page down. I'm going to press control page down to get to charting data sample. Sheet tab charting data sample charting data. If I want to go back, of course, I just press control page up. Now I have my cursor in A4. Land, A, land, A4. And I want to insert a graphic there. So I want to go to the insert ribbon. I press Alt N. Alt N. Then I press P for pictures. P. Leaving menu bar. Land. And it takes me to this dialog. Now, generally I would tell you to press tab, but in this case, it's kind of a reversal. I want to press shift tab. Shift tab. Explore. And it takes me into the folder of folders. So I'm going to go down with my arrow. Home one. Order 66. And move over to sales home volume. Radio picture. sales dash home dash volume. Then I press enter. Enter. And there's the picture. Now I want to add image tag to this. So the way to do that is to press the alt key. And you see. Upper ribbon. Group box. Format tab. Up here it says format. I'm going to press JP. P. And then I want to add this alt text. So I'm going to press. AT. AT. Leaving menu bar. Task pane. Description. Now I can type in a description of the picture, which is. So I wrote graphic for home sales. When I finish with that, I want to go back to the picture, and generally what you do is you press F6. F6. Status bar toolbar. Macro recording F6. Upper ribbon, F6, leaving menu bar, land A4. So it tells me I'm on cell A4, and that's where that picture is. So I press escape to release the picture. Escape. And now we have inserted it. This is how you would make a graphic inside of an Excel spreadsheet.